Ladies and gentlemen, now how is everybody feeling about the introduction of Titan Crystals? So these are essentially the equivalent of 7 star featured crystals that you can't actually use your 7 star shards from. There's going to be a new type of shard, Titan Shards, and the way that you get these currently if you dupe a seven star champion, which I know so many of us are just, you know, get, getting seven star duplicate champions nonstop at the moment, uh, you get 600 shards, 3% of a crystal, because that's right, guys, the, the crystals, they don't cost 10,000, they cost 20,000 shards. But if you get a max seven star dupe, you get 1,200 Titan shards here. Um, so yeah, that that's 6% of a crystal. You'd still need, what is it, like, I don't know, like 18 or something of those to, uh, uh, 18 max 7 star dupes uh, in order to get uh, one crystal there uh, in the absolute um, uh, perfect scenario. But again, in the future, there are going to be additional ways via Alliance War, Battlegrounds, Uber, Super Duper, Challenging Content, and surprise, surprise, offers and sales. We're in a state of the game. You know, there's a July 4th every single month, man. There's always a, a reason to have a, um, a big, big sale. Uh, and there are just, there are so many like July 4th type of events nowadays. So I imagine that's going to be kind of the move into uh, 2024 is just, I don't think we're having one like quite every month yet, but it's like almost there. <laughs> but like next year, man, July 4th is going to be every month, 100% confirmed uh, for all these, uh, you know, Titan Crystal um, uh, offers that are going to come up. But basically the thing is, this is going to be a a, a very, uh, very long time before you get one of these crystals, you know, it's going to be a huge journey to actually open them. And this is going to be the seven star featured equivalent. So any new champions from this point onward uh, are going to go into um, this crystal. And instead of the, the six star featured crystal, which has 24 champions, in this one, there's going to be 18. Now, if you are an OG MC MCOC player, or if you're not, uh, the way that five star featured crystals used to work, hashtag save for blade back in, you know, 2017, 2018, was you saved up all of your five star shards and then you got a one in four chance, I believe it was, to actually get the featured champion. And then in order to sell at the time, I think it was more um, Cavalier crystals or, or something along that manner. They wanted, again, people to stop saving up their shards and instead buy the, you know, when they released a new champion, buy the actual featured crystals. So we went from a 25% chance using the shards that you already got play in the game via everything else uh, down to a, a 1 in 24, which is the 6-star featured. Again, had all, all of the other featured characters in as well, but it reduced that chance of you getting that one specific champion you wanted from 25% uh, to 4.1%, and even reducing the pool size down from 24 to 18, that's still only an increase of getting the one specific champion you want that's a, um, a new character from like 4.1%, up to up to 5.5 so you know in comparison to back in the day where it used to be like 25 percent um and uh, you know you, you had a pretty good chance and even like there were people that opened like 10 or maybe 20 and still didn't get the champion that they specifically wanted i remember some very very painful blade day and hyperion day openings uh, back in the day um but yeah it's it's still like a lot of work i assume uh to get a, a very small chance at the seven star specific champion that you may be after but I think the goal of the Titan Crystals is to um, uh, put in like so many champions that, you know, you're probably not going to be upset uh, with anything that you get. But there, there's always good and bad champions and there's always a spectrum of like, you know, who's the best and who's not. Um, and initially, without seeing all of the other ways that we can gain Titan Crystals, which again, won't be in the game for a while. Um, this seems initially like a little bit, <laughs> a little bit crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just like 18 man, it's a lot of champions. They didn't really like uh, slim down the pool that much for the amount of, I assume additional effort it's gonna require to actually forge one of these um, uh, these crystals here. And it's not like it's like a Nexus crystal either. I think like maybe a better way of doing it would be like if it's 18 champions and a Nexus dude, that would that would be pretty damn hype because then you can specifically, you know, you get like three rolls in it or like keep it at 24, but you know, make it a Nexus as well. I think like having the element of choice in something like so big that you need to work up for um, is something that's, you know, uh, a bit preferred because I assume if free to play and players can ever get these, which again, is going to be a very, very long time. It's it's going to suck if you've done all of this um, 
uh, really difficult stuff in like, you know, Alliance War and Battlegrounds and you've done Abyss 2.0 and you get a Titan Crystal and you've got the just the one champion because there's always that champion, man, um, amongst like a batch of six that just, just really isn't all that. So at least to the best of my knowledge, in all of the game's history, I do not think a grind has existed that's going to be like this long, this time consuming, for a lot of whales, the most expensive grind as well, that then gives you just a, you know, just over 5% chance of maybe getting that one specific new champion that you may want and not having like a re-roll or like a dual selection option um i think it's just going to create like a lot of bad experiences where people literally grind for you know six to 12 months and they get like the most trash champion that they could possibly get out of this crystal and i think again inevitably there will be some duds and characters that are much more lacking in comparison um, and there's, you know, there's always going to be ways, even if you do have rerolls and multiple selections, but at least it gives people like another chance to get something good if they're going to put so much effort into getting these crystals, because again, the variance is absolutely huge. So I'd like to see it, you know, getting that specific champion, maybe go up to a, uh, a 10 to 15% chance instead of still being like a, um, uh, what is it? 5.5%, uh, cause the main, uh, functionality of these is they are going to have new champions and bring new champions into the basic pool. But the groups that they're going to be starting out with, so this is the group of already existing characters. All of these are pretty damn good champions. You're like Strife, Guardian, Sorcerer Supreme, Mr. Negative, Atuma, Odin. Again, all champions I'd personally be pretty happy to see pop up in the uh, the seven star crystal. And then on top of that, we've got the two new um uh, June champions, which look very good, and then also Crossbones and Hyperion. Dude, I cannot believe they're actually going straight in with the seven star Hyperion. But the really good thing as well, because the main thing I was wondering is like with the changes to this, how do then champions migrate from the, the Titan Crystal into the basic one? So pretty much these are going to function in a very similar way to... Um, uh, what is it, six star featured ones do? So champions enter the Titan Crystal anywhere between two and eight weeks after their release, and then they rotate from the Titan Crystal into the base pool approximately six months later. Um, so what this does fundamentally, the, the kind of main difference it makes the seven star progression, again, the, the six star featured still stays the same, but at the moment, if a, uh, a newer player or a free-to-play player wants to access some... Um, you know, a new champion and have a chance of getting them, they can save up their six star shards and, you know, go for the six star featured. And you actually might get a character um, like Absorbing Man or somebody really good that was just released like a few months back uh, very, very early on. But nowadays, um, unless they add in a significant way for free to play people and people grinding the game to regularly get Titan Crystals, which I do not believe they're going to do. They may do it for like Abyss. Again, I think the, the Battleground stuff, the Alliance Wall stuff is going to be very slow, very grindy, uh, very time consuming as well with the social commitment of committing to like a high tier Alliance War uh, on top of that. Um, but yeah, essentially the champions in the Titan pool do come into the basic pool about six months later. So uh, any champions that are added in Titan will eventually like filter down, um, but it's just going to make that process a little bit longer uh, for people that aren't going for the Titan crystals to have the opportunity to gain those new champions as a seven star version. Um, so yeah, I can't say like, again, I'm really the biggest fan of this system or I really think that um, this has been done for any purpose other than to raise more money on July 4th sales with Titan Crystals, because I think that's the sole intent of this purpose. We all know Titan Shards and Titan Crystals, man. If you've been about for a while, I mean, this is just another way to milk the whales, isn't it, man? Because even looking into the game modes that they're in, it's like, you know, Alliance War, Battlegrounds, Uber, Super Duper Challenging Content, all of this stuff is very roster, very champion reliant, along with skill reliant as well. So you need to have that, the roster, you need to stay up to date, you need to buy all the July 4th offers to have the upgrade materials. They're probably going to have stuff... Um, I imagine on Cyber Monday, that's like, you know, the 12,000 unit offer is like 20,000 like Titan Shards. And maybe if you're in the top 20 in Alliance War, you get like 5k Titan Shards per season. And, you know, the top 20 Alliance War players uh, are sitting there and they're like, dude, uh, you know, if I buy this $400, like 12,000 unit offer, that's four seasons, bro. That's four whole seasons of value right there. <laughs> Let's scoop it up, boys. I'm going in. Um, and yeah, hopefully hopefully they get something good, dude. Hopefully they get something good, because at the end of the day, you know, you, you got to milk the whales. That's how free-to-play games um, 
uh, do survive. Uh, but Kabam, you know, they've given a little bit of a stick to the free-to-play community this year by, like, absolutely nerfing uh, revive farming into oblivion. So I feel like they just need to do a few more things to kind of throw a bone at the free-to-play players uh, just to kind of smooth out progression, help people catch up. Because I think, you know, the difference between your average player that is not buying every single round of, you know, $600 worth of July 4th Cyber Monday offers, which seem to be coming around every month or two now, um, I think the distance is, you know, potentially going to grow quite substantially. So it'd be, just be nice to see kind of some more ways to gain seven star champions kind of peppered in. Um, if they do want to fo push the focus of everybody else toward the uh, the seven star uh, basic pool there. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of additional stuff this year, especially with the banquet event. I actually didn't try out even the banquet event last year, but I heard it was really, really good. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do for kind of free to play and people that aren't spending like a crazy amount of money. And I'm also curious to see what they can do with that event for the people that are spending a crazy amount of money, man. Because <laughs> those, uh, yeah, those events uh, are pretty ridiculous in the, um, uh, the history of uh, MCOC as well. But yeah, overall, uh, Titan Crystals, I think, you know, even for the whales, dude, these these could be a little bit better, you know, in terms of uh, being able to target specific champions you want. I feel like 18 still isn't like, for, for the amount of effort, again, this is by far the most effort you've ever had to put in to get a crystal in the game by like an almost uncomparable margin. And not being able to like, you know, at least like uh, slim it down to maybe a few options or get like another reroll or something. I know, I just, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that just spend like a crazy amount of money, uh, a crazy amount of time uh, trying to get these and then just get giga shafted. Um, but maybe that as, as people that enjoy watching YouTube videos is what we're here for, man. Maybe we're here for the pain. Maybe you want to see those, uh, those whales, those top tier players, you know, grind these crystals for a year and then get the equivalent of, uh, you know, group. 2.0 in uh in 2024 so uh who knows what's going to happen there uh, i think it's going to be fun to watch some whales open these crystals i think there's going to be good openings i think there's going to be bad openings i wonder if there's going to be any opening so bad that it's like it triggers the rage level of anonymous 2k when he went into labyrinth of legends um and and didn't get ice man that was that was a pretty that was an all-time classic that's still one of my favorite crystal opening videos um but yeah it certainly adds a lot more weight a lot more stakes to opening these crystals so yeah that, that was, that's just an interesting thing you know there can be um uh, very good and bad moments that come out of that but it's also not good and bad moments that the majority of people that aren't spending you know thousands of dollars a year on this video game uh need to worry about in the short term but maybe in the longer term if they don't get a little bit better um but yeah uh you know these these are just whale milk and clown fiesta crystals at the end of the day but ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts on titan crystals in the comment section below and if you did enjoy today's breakdown please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated thank you all very much for watching take care and i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day